What's up guys and welcome. In this video, we're gonna be learning how to use the medium motor so we can collect things and move them around. This is going to be a nice easy one. My name's Trevor, let's get to it. Here, you can see my robot using the medium motor to collect objects in conjunction with my servo motors to deliver my blocks to a location on the mat. First things first, I'm gonna open up a new program and name it something recognizable. The block we're going to be focusing on is this very first green one, the medium motor. So click and drag that into your program. When you attach the media motor, make sure it's in one of the open lettered ports. I had the option of A or D, so I just chose A. You can see the default port over here as well. We can change that to D if we need to. As with the previous motor block, I can turn on this one for rotations, degrees, or seconds. I prefer using this one on seconds, and I'll show you why in a moment. The next thing I need to figure out is which direction the arm is going to move on a positive power. What I can do is drag in another one, change it to seconds, and put this on a negative 50% power and run this program and see which direction my arms move when each of these blocks are played. I'm going to leave my robot plugged in and I should just be able to push this play button and it will play the program instantaneously. This is fine because I'm just moving the arm and I'm not actually driving anywhere. The first movement is up and the second movement is down. Now the reason why I like using seconds instead of rotations is because if I turn it on for one second, after one second, my robot will carry on with the rest of the program. Here I've turned the medium motor on for one rotation, but because the medium motor can't complete the one rotation, it gets stuck and the robot cannot carry on with the program. Here, however, it's on for three seconds and you can see that the motor is not moving anywhere, but after three seconds, it carries on as usual. So even though there's a slight delay, my robot can still continue with the rest of the program. Now to use this in the program is quite simple, but it's very important to put the programming blocks in the correct sequence. Let's head to the software so we can go through that together. So currently it's opening and closing as you can see. So with the first one being a negative power and the second one being a positive power, it is currently closing, then opening again. What I want to get my robot to do is open it, drive forward, close it, and then reverse. So the sequence for that is very important. We have to make sure the blocks are in the correct order. So I'm going to drag out the one block I don't need, which leaves this block here, which will open the arm. I'm going to fine tune it slightly and you can play around with these numbers to get it as accurate as possible for you. So once the arm is open, what I want to do is now drive my robot forward. I can do that by dragging in a move steering block and letting it drive forward. Now I need to close the arm around the object. So I'm going to drag in the medium motor block with the negative power. I'm going to change the power slightly and the time to whatever works best for me. And then after the arm's closed, I'm going to reverse my robot so it can get to wherever it's going. And this is how we start stringing together simple programs. I hope that was easy enough to follow along to. If you find yourself struggling, just give it another watch. But that's all for now.